Good morning and welcome back to Planet Alt History. Today we are going to discuss what if the American Civil War became a world war. The American Civil War is mostly seen as a local event and an event that did not have a big influence outside of the US. Most European countries were not interested in intervening in our timeline as they were too busy following their own policies, and also because Britain already suffered prior defeats in America. Spain was in a very weak position and France was the only country that was actively involved in the timeline in the Americas, mainly in Mexico. The idea was to install Maximilian I as Mexican Emperor. And uh, since Maximilian I came from the Habsburg dynasty, a dynasty that ruled over Austria, Austria too was indirectly involved as well. And we also had Russia who still had some of their territories in Alaska. The Monroe Doctrine already existed and France only intervened in Mexico because of the American Civil War. As we all know, the American Civil War was mainly a result of the long-standing disagreement over the institution of slavery. Each state in the US had a huge amount of autonomy, and due to the differences, especially in terms of economy and social classes, the southern states declared their independence and launched an attack on Fort Sumter, South Carolina, in April 12, 1861. As mentioned, this conflict was a very local conflict, and the European powers were not interested in joining for a few reasons. Britain, for instance, wouldn't have minded the southern victory when it comes down to the economic terms and also trade policies, but Britain was also against slavery. Moreover, Britain already had cheap cotton from India and thus endorsing the South wouldn't really help them in any way whatsoever. France was already engaged in Mexico and in terms of supply, it would not have been feasible for them to also intervene in the south or in the north of the US. Spain was already on its last leg and supporting the south or the north would not have really helped them in any way, especially if they would be the only power who would do so. Sure, the European powers reacted to the American Civil War, but at the end they didn't really care about it and there wasn't much to gain for them. But what if all of that changed? What if the American Civil War became a world war? First of all, the European states would not just enter the war by accepting the Confederates instead of the US as the legitimate government. We need to find a good pretext for a specific European power to join the conflict and to get a domino effect out of it. France may be a good candidate if our point of divergence would be that France have had a successful intervention in Mexico. However, this video is not focusing on that topic. The St. Albans raid could be the perfect pretext. In that raid, some Confederate army forces robbed a bank and they tried to trick the Union army to defend the Northern Territory against further raids. Let's just say that in this timeline this incident would get out of control and we could see Britain now joining the war as well. Britain could do so step by step by doing certain actions, such as for instance saying that they have to defend their territory, then they would later on also recognize the Confederate states and sending them support, making deals with them, and at the end they would actively join the conflict. It would, from one point of view, be very problematic for Britain to do so. Britain, after all, they didn't allow slavery to exist anymore. But if they would play their cards right in claiming that they are defending their territory, and in such a case defending your own borders will have the highest priority, this would give the Confederate States a moral boost because now they would have the US being busy with also other countries around. Britain would make a few deals with France as well, since France was already on the continent fighting Mexico. 
the US would indirectly side with the non-monarchist Mexican forces, while the imperial Mexican forces would now indirectly support the Confederates. Moreover, support from Spain would also arrive against the US, because Spain would now see a chance of actually protecting their last colonies. They were worried of an ever-growing influence of the US, and having the Confederates in there may give them the perfect opportunity of protecting their colonies. Since Belgium already had some troops in Mexico, supporting the French and because Belgium had good relations with the UK and France, Belgium too may join the war. Portugal too as an ally could participate in one way or another and since France was in some way fighting on Austria's behalf, Austria too would be called into the action. Prussia and Russia would start getting really worried about France, Britain and Austria getting too much power too much influence all over the world and maybe even in Europe. And we could see them intervene against them. The Netherlands too may also join, because they would like to reclaim Belgium for instance, and seeing how Belgium would suddenly send their forces overseas would give them the perfect opportunity to do so. Maybe even getting some Portuguese colonies maybe in the back for the Netherlands. The Ottomans, they would side with UK, France, Austria, Portugal, Belgium and the Confederates, because they would want to get rid of Russian influence in the Balkans and the Caucasus. In America, the Union Army would now receive different orders than in our timeline, and the troop movement they would be slower and also way different, while the Confederates, already on the losing side, as of in that moment, they would hold out much longer and even better than in our timeline due to the fact that Britain is now supporting them, and later France, etc. The Brits would then attack just barely by land and use their navy mostly to lead a naval invasion against continental USA. Russian troops in Alaska would not be numerous, or maybe even not exist almost at all, and still the Russians, they had their navy very close to nowadays Vancouver, maybe they could make use of it, but it would not really make any difference whatsoever. Britain's weakness here would be the western part of Canada, but still there would not be really anything of value in there. In Mexico, most of the things they would remain the same, only that now northern Mexico would be under pressure from Texas, and it's possible that the French and the Allies as well as the Confederate troops could connect with each other. Some Spanish troops they could also tip the odds towards the French in here. The Union army would not be able to win decisively and very soon there would be reinforcements, naval invasions and attacks from left and from right. In Europe, Prussia, Russia and the Netherlands they may convince the Italians to join the war efforts. But in the end, Prussia would not be able to handle France, Belgium and Austria at the same time. Italy would give them some relief, but it would not be enough for victory. The Ottomans wouldn't be doing great, but with the Austrians, the Russians could be beaten and they would have to retreat slowly but surely. This alternate American Civil War would drag on for at least several more months and maybe even some more years. While the Union Army would win without the intervention of the Europeans in this timeline, the US would be damaged in a very considerable way and lose many battles. This would not be a total war, but the US would accept peace treaty, in which they would have to accept the independence of the Confederate States. France would be able to get Mexico on their side, and we would see a Mexican Empire in here. Russia would probably lose Alaska to Britain and several changes between them and the Ottomans would be made. The Ottomans may divide the Balkans with Austria, Austria would also gain some influence in Mexico and Austria too would now get and become the more dominant state within the German sphere of influence and perhaps even win back Silesia and even place a Habsburg prince on the Polish puppet state. Italy would lose lands to the Austrians and the French, while the Netherlands would lose some territories to Belgium and perhaps even some parts of Indonesia to the Portuguese. The French would be very comfortable in Europe, expanding in German territories, without getting problems with Britain. Why that? Austria too would have won, just like the Ottomans as well, and thus there would be a balance of power in here, just a very different one.
Spain would keep their remaining colonies as a result of the Confederates becoming independent and a golden circle would never come into existence because the Confederates in here, they would agree to not touch the Spanish colonies. The US would not automatically become weak, but it would be a huge blow for them. The US would still develop and industrialize, while Italy, the remnants of Prussia and also Russia would swear revenge. The US may also build much earlier on a bigger navy because they would have seen how important a naval de defense would have been. What will happen next? Will the losing side wait for the right moment to strike back? Will reforms be made? Or will this become the new international order? And that's where we leave it for now. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my video. Be sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment, support me also on Patreon and join my forum, forum.planetalthistory.ga. Until next time on Planet Alt History.